Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of To Read or Not To Read. That is the question. This week, I'm going to share with you some new nature nonfiction books that I've been reading that I think you should check out. The first of those is Natural Rivals by John Clayton. And this book is about John Muir, who most of you know, and Gifford Pinchot. And the two men early on who sort of pioneer the protection for public lands and with their differentiating ideas but also how people call them rivals because um, one's ideals turn into the the National Park Service and the other one turned into the US Forest Service but really they wanted a lot of the same things protecting public lands and it talks a lot about some of those early people and the decisions that were made to get the public land protections that we have today This other book, our copy is actually checked out right now, but we have it on Overdrive in the audiobook format and also in print as well. It's called The Big Burn, and that one's by Timothy Egan, who some of you might know, he also wrote The Worst Hard Time about the Great Depression, but The Big Burn is about the largest wildfire that ever hit in the United States. Um, it hit over three million acres in Northern Idaho and Montana and how in 1905 the US Forest Service was sort of just in the beginning and in five years some of those rangers were trying to fight the largest fire um, in history in just with just five years of experience and so a lot of what happened during that fire turned into how we manage those forests today. Definitely check it out. And lastly, Nature's Best Hope, a new approach to conservation that starts in your yard. And this one is by Douglas Tallamy. And this book is about how you can do a lot of um, small things starting in your backyard that can help nature, help our environment, and how if everyone did those small things in their backyard, uh, it would go a long way for conservation. And uh, his first book talked about sort of the prequel to this book talked about how planting native species actually helps native species, native wildlife, because a lot of them only need native species to survive and not non-native invasives. And so this book we also have in print here, but we also have it on Overdrive, uh, audiobook format as well. And so you can listen to it or read it and find out what you can do and the small steps that you can take toward uh, bettering our environment. That's all I have today, guys. We'll see you next week on another edition of To Read or Not To Read. That is the question.